All right, this is uh, my grandparents' Christmas mystery. Definitely raises a lot of questions right away with the title. And apparently we're supposed to read the story here before we begin, so... Grandma never showed up, and Grandpa's tragic passing three days later left me in anger, confusion, and sadness. I couldn't just let this go like it never happened, so I decided to go and find out what happened on my own. Read more details on the game page. Uh, okay, whatever, just start. Vroom vroom, where are we going? To my grandparents' house, I'm assuming. I'm closing in on the destination. I was supposed to arrive midday according to my GPS, but it's already night time. Okay. Oh. The aftermath of Christmas. December 25th. Christmas is now over. My grandparents were both supposed to visit, but Grandpa was the only one who came over, and he said Grandma would be here later. He had no shoes on, which was very strange, and also felt like Grandpa was in shock. Every time we would say anything about Grandma, he would just be quiet and act out of character. This is why I've decided to start writing this journal about him, to help me figure out what is going on. December 26th. Grandpa's health started deteriorating rapidly, which came as a shock to all of us, since he seemed to be in good shape. The fact that Grandma still wasn't here kept bugging me, so I tried asking him again, but he wouldn't tell me anything except that he's just delayed, that she is just delayed. We found some kind of bite mark on Grandpa's shoulder, and when we asked him about it, he just said, you must be imagining things. I'm assuming some kind of animal attacked them, maybe. But if that's the case, then why won't he tell us anything about the bite mark or Grandma? I'm having a hard time believing she's just delayed after seeing that bite mark. December 27th. Grandpa's health kept getting worse, and we all got really worried about him. But this whole situation just doesn't make any sense. Why would he come back without Grandma and not tell us anything what that happened? Why does his health start deteriorating so quickly all of a sudden? Maybe his heart can't handle all the stress from this situation. December 28th. As we all expected, Grandpa sadly passed away with heart failure today. I'm so angry, confused, and it's making me go insane. Grandpa's last words were, Don't ever visit the cabin me and Grandma celebrated Christmas in, and try to move on from this the best you can. But there's no way in hell I can just let this go without knowing what happened that Christmas and where Grandma is. I'm sorry, Grandpa. But I'm going to that cabin, and I'm going to figure out what really happened this Christmas. Well then. Exit car? Or go home? Is go home an option? Nope. Alright. Exit car then. Find your grandparents' cabin. I'm assuming it's right down the road. Oh, we have stamina meter. That's always a good sign. That definitely doesn't mean we're gonna face some shit. Oh. Don't love that noise. Hmm. Welly, welly, well then. Oh, ah, ah, ah. Stop that. Don't you dare. Not loving the sounds I'm hearing. Ooh, wolves. Oh, fuck. Sounds like I got company. So maybe... Put one foot in front of the other and get the fuck out of here. Oh, dear. Okay. Definitely putting me a little on edge with the forest sounds. Can't deny where is this cabin? Ah! Oh, jeez. Fucking hell. Thank God they weren't interested in me at least. So is the cabin up there? Oh yeah. I see, I see a building. Alright, Grandma. Let's go see what you're hiding. That is a tiny fucking cabin. Is this THE cabin? You sure?
But this doesn't seem like the cabin. Maybe it's just like... Oh, it's like an entrance to a... Ah, okay, here we go. This, um, this doesn't seem safe. I don't love this. Seems like nature would fuck this set of stairs up pretty quickly. Alright, well. That seems more like a livable cabin. Okay. Let's look around here. Before we go in. Aw, Frosty. Wreath on the ground. I can't go back there. Fine, we'll go in. Oh, this doesn't look great. What happened in here? Good question. Those cookies... That apparently haven't gone bad somehow. Well, everything's fucked. So far, so good. Um... I don't see anything... Oh, wait. There it is. Whoever is reading this needs to get out of here as soon as possible. Something strange has happened to my wife, Mary, and I'm not sure what to do with her. Well... That's not reassuring. So should I just leave? What is this ball over here? Whoa! 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 What? What happened? Oh. Mary isn't usually gone this long when she goes out for walks. I hope she's okay. Oh, we're flashbacking. We're, we're grandpa now. This looks lovely. Oh, I did not love that. That sounded like Mary. I gotta find her as soon as possible. Oh no. Oh, okay, he has considerably less stamina. Which makes sense, an older man. What is... Oh, is that her? Whoop. Did I fall over? Like... What are you doing, Mary? Oh, I don't think that's Mary anymore. Hi, honey. You okay? So that was mildly strange. What just happened? It seemed like I was watching one of Grandpa's memories. Alright. I should go and make sure what I saw actually happened. Go and confirm that what you saw was real. Really, buddy? Really? Alright, if you say so. It seems like a bad idea, but... Cool, cool, cool. Oh, there's another one of those orbs. Looks like it actually happened. Oh, there's a dead wolf here. What do you say? Oh, God. Okay. I can't run, though. Uh, 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 no. No. No, into the house. What happens to Grandma? I feel like I'm going insane seeing all this stuff. Yep, that is a dead wolf back there. That's not great. Alright. I do like the detail that you have way less stamina as an old man. That's good. Oh. I heard that. Up. Oh. Grandma? Everything okay, Grandma? Uh-oh. There's another orb in here. Hmm. What are these orb- I barely made it back in here. I should leave a note and try to get out of here. Escape. Okay. Ah, there she is. Bye, honey. Uh-oh. Ooh. Oh, what? What happened? Oh, she moved. 
don't love that. Stay where you are. So you gotta move it up. Yep, sure enough. You are something else, lady. Okay, let's just uh get the fuck out of here. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Alright. Fuck. I wish I hadn't come here. Wait, how the stairs disappeared? They were just here. I gotta find another route ASAP. Well then, that's not great. How the hell am I gonna get down from here? Uh, back here, maybe? Maybe there's a route I didn't see? Nope. So, how the hell am I going to get down from the mountain? Ah! Here we go. Gonna be a bitch to find the car, though. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Not loving those sounds. What are you saying? You're whispering some random shit. What is this now? What's this little place? What's that smell? Oh, that would appear to be a body. Oh, the place is crooked as hell. I'm gonna be adding you to my collection as well. You should have listened to your grandpa. Okay, well. Oh, hide. Hide behind the wall. Um, yes. Maybe turn off the flashlight. Oh, this didn't work. Hi. Well, I'm fucked. Hi. Wait, did turning off the flashlight work? Oh my- Ah! Okay. Yep. Yeah, keep the flashlight off. <laughs> you died! <laughs> you don't say! Yes, try again. Want a tip? No. Uh, I'll just hide again. Wow, that was dumb. That was really stupid of me. <laughs> Let's try that one more time. I'll be adding you to my collection, Ooga Booga. Can we close the door? Oh, hide, yeah. Hide behind the wall. And turn off the flashlight. Let's see if I... <laughs> what a dumbass I am. I mean, apparently turning off the flashlight worked. She was about to leave and then I had to be an idiot. Is she actually saying words, or are these just like, nonsense, spooky things? Alright, she's leaving. Good, get the fuck out of here, lady. Get up? I mean... Y yes I think I'm going to keep the flashlight off for a bit. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. What? What what was that noise? What happened that I was supposed to see there?
Gut. What? Oh, Jesus. Shooter loves showing up in the weirdest of places, Grandma. Let's get the ever-loving shit out of here. She's gotta be sitting in like the passenger seat when I get into the car or something. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out. 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 Fuck out of here. God, I forgot how long the trek back is. Hi! <laughs> Wait, what did, what did the sign say? I should have had my flashlight on so I could read the sign. What the fuck is going on? Aw, oh, now I'm sad. I wanted to read the sign. Well, maybe I'll die and have to try again, so... Yep! You should have listened. And she's gone. <laughs> this is silly. To your grandpa's last words. There's the car. Almost there. Boy, I wonder if I die right as I'm getting there. Alright, let's let's bounce. Let's get out. She's gonna be right in the passenger seat. I'm gonna run her over on the way back or something. Here we go. Huh. I guess we're British. Uh oh. Oh, there she is! <laughs> Being curious was the death of you. A horror game made in one month by solo developer Corvin Rular. All right, you know what? That was that was decent. Um, I always appreciate seeing a Christmas horror game that manages to not be about like a killer Santa Claus or killer elves, or, you know, all that stuff. The idea of like your family, your loved ones dying or going crazy during the holidays, and that's the whole thing. That's pretty cool. Um, this needs polish, though, particularly in the typefacing, you know, those notes just look stupid, quite frankly, and her just popping up like that instead of, like, doing something is kind of cheap. And, like, I don't know, the going around finding the orbs to see what happened before, it's a little weird and a little too video gamey for its own good, you know? But I think there's something here if it had been worked on a little more and if it felt a little more organic, but, uh, yeah. My grandparents' Christmas mystery. That was perfectly decent. Pretty good job.